The Big E Serves campaign kicks off with the Butler Way on display, not only in Indianapolis, but beyond borders. Globally, it is junior men's soccer standout Ethan King who is putting together something so positive during these critical times, starting up a United 19 campaign in the effort to fight against coronavirus. Great to have Ethan with us now. Ethan, what is United 19? Yes, sir. Thanks for the opportunity, John. Uh, United 19 is a new initiative uh, for the organization of Charity Ball, and it's all about slowing and stopping the spread of uh, COVID-19 in sub-Saharan African countries, specifically Mozambique, which is where we uh, as an organization do a lot of work. And um, so, yeah, Mozambique is um, it's one of the poorest countries in, in the world. Uh, it's uh, fascinating enough. It's, it's about four times the size of, of New York, um, but currently they only have 24 ventilators. And so um, there's, uh, there's potential for a lot of, a lot of problems there if, if coronavirus uh, creeps into the the borders, but we're doing our best to, to, to take a stand against that and, and, and mobilizing communities and uh, working alongside the government and local municipalities to uh, uh, create infrastructure that uh, we, can, we can get people uh, to where they need to be and, and, uh, and, and make sure that people are, are safe and, and protected uh, in terms of the COVID-19 outbreak. It's amazing. In just a short period of time, what can be done and People out there might be thinking the government and those connections that you have. That actually comes from what you've been able to do with a project that you started 11 years ago when you were 10 years old. That's Charity Ball. Explain how that project began and how that has to do with what you're doing right now. For sure. Yeah, so Charity Ball uh, began in 2010. Uh, I took a trip to Mozambique with my dad. Um, and uh, long story short, my dad uh, gives direction to his own organization. And what they do is they uh, work with sub-Saharan African governments uh, on clean water initiatives and providing clean water to people in, in uh, rural communities. So I went with him on an expedition um, in 2010. I brought along my soccer ball, being an avid soccer player. And um, I, uh, I saw that kids there love to play the game of soccer just as much as we do here in the U.S. But because of where they're born, they don't have access to, uh, you know, they don't have access to a soccer. They, don't, they can't go down the street and go to Dick's Sporting Goods and go pick up a soccer ball. And even if they, there was one, they don't have the money for it. So uh, I felt super compelled to give my ball away. These kids, you know, they would put together trash bags and wrap them up with twine. And that's what they used to play the game. So, uh, yeah, I gave my ball away. And um, the, uh, the emotions that, that, uh, that came over. Uh, the the kids who received the soccer ball was was incredible. You know, their their tears and um, people giving me hugs and it was it was just incredible. Never I think never would these kids believe that uh, some kid from America would come across and, and give them a soccer ball and completely change you know their lives. And so um, yeah, that was that was a really influential moment. And I, when I came back to the United States, I I you know replayed that scene in my head and thought you know that's I can do more of this. You know, I have the the ability and the resources to keep doing more of this and um, there's there's more to the world than, than just playing soccer and, and, and you know, going to school and, and studying and everything. So, um, yeah, I wanted to start this, this initiative. And I said, every kid loves the beautiful game of soccer it deserves to have, you know, his or her own soccer ball. And so, um, yeah, those are the humble roots of, of Charity Ball. And since then, we've been able to do a lot of good work. Like you said, 50, uh, 50 different countries, been able to handle over thousands of soccer balls. So it's uh, it's been super what was your first thought? Because you're talking about this period of people are wondering what to do, but when did it pop in your head that this could be a project that could come to fruition? I think um, just kind of taking inventory and, and realizing uh, the kind of impact that it's having on, uh, you know, the entire, entire globe and uh, a lot of countries, you know, you see the U S and, and we're a uh, pretty, pretty, uh, you know, pretty significant nation and, and, um, you know, have a really good infrastructure in place. And, um, and we still got hit pretty hard, you know, New York, you know, look at, look at New York. It's one of the, the biggest cities in the world. And, uh, um, it was been pretty devastating what is, what has occurred over there and, and the amount of deaths. And so, uh, in a community like Mozambique, a third world country and, and, uh, Mozambique vacillates between being one of the poorest countries, um, in the world. And, uh, a lot of the people that live there, especially in the rural scenarios, are um, immunocompromised and, and already suffering from, uh, you know, things like HIV and AIDS and, and dysentery and other waterborne illnesses. And so, um, 
you know, I thought, why not? Why not use some of the resources that we already have established there? Uh, really work at mobilizing the people that we have on the ground there. And um, it is it hasn't hit, you know, Mozambique incredibly hard yet. It's still kind of working its way in um, as of right now in terms of the reports. But um, yeah, I felt super passionate about it, and this is something that you know just kind of comes from within. And, and I feel like uh, we're able to. Uh, we got it. We got a goal of twenty-five thousand dollars, and so that way we can we can really work at. Um, providing the education for these people and, and, and uh, getting the resources that they need. But the biggest thing right now is is, is clean drinking water. And, and that's one of the tangible aspects that we're focused on because, um, you know, one of the biggest things that the CDC recommends is, is uh, to combat the virus is to wash your hands with, you know, with clean water. And a lot of these people don't have access to clean water. They use, they go to riverbeds, they go to, you know, that's, they dig holes and, and it's the same type of water that they're, you know, bathing in or, um, washing their clothes in so um, yeah if we can if we can work harder and, and, and work at um, you know giving these people clean water sooner rather than later then uh, we can really you know take steps to, to protecting them there is that saying the butler way mm -hmm. how would you define it uh, well you know the butler way is first all about denying selfishness um, seeking improvement uh, every single day um, and so that's that's one of the things that kind of radiates around campus, and especially as, as a student athlete, that that um, you know our our, our uh, superiors have really worked hard in, in instilling us as, as student athletes and, and making sure that we're um, you know looking at looking at scenarios every single day and seeing how we can prove um, our community around us and and, and, and and others as well. And so um, I'd like to just shout out Sonia Hopkins because um, she's you know an amazing per person on campus and has been. Really influential in, in my uh, my uh, collegiate experience and, and uh, motivating all of our athletes to really you know think about the Butler way and embodying that spirit on on every single day basis. Ethan, with United 19, how can people help? For sure, the biggest thing right now is our twenty five thousand dollar goal. Um, we're really working hard to get that money together as soon as possible. Obviously, uh, you know the economy being at a standstill is, is a it's a bit tough right now for for small businesses out there. But um, we're really, really um, looking forward to to getting people on board in terms of individual contributions. And you know, um, even the ten and fifteen dollar donations uh, make a huge difference when when uh, when a lot of people are are, are supporting. So um, yeah, like I said, it's a, it's a big goal, but I think uh, I think it's uh, I think we can definitely hit it and. Uh, the sooner we can get that money, the sooner we can help these people and, and, and uh, continue to, 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 to help the people over there. So I'm, I'm thrilled and I'd love to have everybody hop on board and join me. Well, you personify Big E Serves and what you're doing is heroic. Congratulations. I know that under these circumstances, these are tough times right now, but bringing a positive side of this is exactly what you're doing. And thank you for spending some time with us tonight. Congrats. Yes, sir. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Appreciate what you do.